morning and welcome to the Ottawa Public Health and Community Social Services Pride Flag Raising Ceremony. Bonjour tout le monde. Mon nom est Suzanne Obiora et c'est avec grand plaisir que je me joigne à vous ce matin à titre de maîtrise de cérémonie pour célébrer notre diversité et la fierté dans la capitale. As Director of Gender and Race Equity, Inclusion, Indigenous Relations, and Social Development, it is with immense pleasure that I join you this morning as your master ceremony to celebrate our diversity and our pride. First, we would like to begin by honoring the Algonquin Anishinaabe people on whose traditional unceded territory the City of Ottawa is located. We would like to extend this respect to all First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people, their ancestors and their elders for their valuable past and present contributions to this land. Nous aimerons commencer par rendre hommage au peuple algonquin sur les terres non cédées sur lesquelles la ville d'Ottawa a été établie. Nous aimerons également présenter cet hommage à tous les peuples de Première Nation ainsi quelques peuples inuits et métis, à leurs ancêtres et leurs aînés, de même que souligner leurs précieuses contributions passées et présentes à cette région. I would like to welcome all of you who are joining us in person or virtually. I would like to acknowledge Michelle Morrissey, manager of the Finances Service Department's Business Support Services, who is also joining us this morning, as well as our GM, Kevin Wiley, from Public Works and Environmental Services. Je voudrais souhaiter la bienvenue à toutes les personnes qui ont bien voulu se joindre à nous en personne ou virtuellement ce matin. Ottawa continues to work as a community to create change. As an organization, the City of Ottawa continues to work towards ensuring we have a strong, vibrant, and diverse workforce. Our goal is to have a workforce that is representative of the community we live in and serve, and that offers equitable opportunities throughout all levels of the organization. This will promote public confidence and ensure that a diversity of minds, experiences, and perspectives are shaping and leading the city's workforce. It will also build more meaningful and productive relationships with communities, leverage the expertise of a diverse range of individuals, enable creativity and innovation to ensure we meet the needs of our communities. But most importantly, it demonstrates that each and every one of us with the diversity that we bring to the organization matter. We matter to be seen, heard, and valued. Members of the Two-Spirit, Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, Queer, Questioning, Intersexual, Asexual, and or gender diverse or non-binary community continue to face discrimination in their day-to-day -day lives. And we are here to show our support and commitment to improving the lives of the 2SLGBT QQI, QQIA members in our community. Le thème de cette année, on exige encore, a été choisi en hommage à la première manifestation d'envergure au Canada pour la défense des droits queer qui a eu lieu ici même à Ottawa en 1971. On this 50th anniversary of the first large-scale queer rights demonstration in Canada that took place here in Ottawa in 1971. Capital Pride chose to honor those before us that helped achieve and enjoy the right and freedom we cherish today with the theme of this year's celebration, We Still Demand. Without further ado, I would like to invite Dr. Brent Malotny, Deputy Medical Officer of Health at Ottawa Public Health to say a few words. J'invite donc le Dr. Brent Malotny, médecin chef adjoint à bien vouloir venir prendre la parole. Thank you, Suzanne. Good morning, bonjour. I'm very pleased to be with you this morning to celebrate the launch of Pride Week in the capital. Je suis heureux d'être avec vous ce matin pour célébrer le lancement de la Semaine de la Fierté dans la capitale. 50 years ago, a small group of people stood up for their rights and today we benefit from their action. Though we have made great strides, there's still much to be done. Many 2SLGBTQQIA plus individuals 
Canadians, particularly our racialized communities, people with living with disabilities, two-spirit people, and members of the trans community still experience discrimination, harassment, and violence in their day-to-day -day lives. At Ottawa Public Health, we take this seriously. At Santé Publique Ottawa, nous prenons cette situation en sérieux. We believe in working alongside 2S LGBTQQIA plus communities to ensure they have access to welcoming, safe, supportive, diverse, and inclusive environment, free of stigma and discrimination. As part of our work at Ottawa Public Health, we focus on addressing systematic barriers to improve equal opportunities for health to all members of our community. It is through all our actions that we truly hope to make a difference. We encourage our employees to learn more about 2S LGBTQQIA plus community by sharing information and resources, attending workshops and training, and by sharing their experience and being proud of who they are. As our colleague Suzanne Obora mentioned, our goal is to have a workforce that is representative of the community we live in and ser serve and offer equitable opportunities for all, at all levels of the organization. For the past 19 years, OPH has been participating in pride events, including the fun and vibrant celebratory parade. And we welcome once more the opportunity to continue to walk along with the 2S LGBTQQIA plus community for many years to come. Happy Pride, Joyeux Fierté. Merci, thank you, Nigwich. Thank you, merci, Dr. Malatni. We continue to walk along with the 2S LGBTQQIA in solidarity and in celebration. Maintenant, j'aimerais passer la parole à ma collègue Lila Gibbons, directrice générale associée aux services sociaux et communautaires. I now invite Lila Gibbons, associate general manager of community and social services, to say a few words. Hello, everyone. Bonjour tout et à tous. Thank you very much, Dr. Malotny, for your thoughtful words, and to Suzanne for the introduction. I am proud to join my colleagues today to raise the pride flag here at the Mary Pitt Centre. Je suis très fier d'être ici parmi vous pour représenter la ville et la direction générale de services sociaux et communautaires. Today is an important uh, opportunity for us to acknowledge the contribution of this community and to remind ourselves that there is still much work to be done. In community social services, as well as other departments, we're working together to create a workplace where everyone can be themselves. We are striving to build a safe and inclusive workforce that reflects the diverse communities that we serve. We work closely with our community partners, our clients, and our residents to identify areas where systemic and structural change is needed and how we can build solutions to get us there. The pandemic has certainly challenged us, and more importantly, has disproportionately increased the challenges of so many people from Ottawa's diverse two-spirit, lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, queer, plus communities, especially women, racialized and indigenous 2SLGBTQIA plus community members, as Dr. Malotny has already pointed out. Pride is an opportunity to remember and to acknowledge the struggles had the celebrations uh, celebrate the gains that have achieved and come together as a community to consider what is left to do. I encourage everyone to take part uh, in the virtual Pride activities happening this week as part of the collective celebration and commitment. Happy Pride, everyone. Bonne fierté, tout le monde. Merci, thank you, and miigwech. Thank you, Lila. Uh, indeed, this is a moment where we need to acknowledge the struggles and celebrate the gains. I would now like to invite Councillor Keith Eglai, Chair of the Board of Health, to say a few words. J'invite le Conseiller Keith Eglai, Président du Conseil de Santé, à bien vouloir venir dire quelques mots. Good morning. Uh, bonjour and thank you Suzanne, Brent and Lila. Uh, I'm also pleased to participate in this important event this morning. I'm equally pleased that we have win this year. <laughs> Last year many of us were out here just hoping for even a whiff of wind and it didn't come so I hope I haven't jinxed this. As a city councillor and the chair of the Board of Health I can honestly say 
that together we can and we have made a difference. It is by working together that we continue to improve the health and well-being of our community. As Ottawa Public Health and Community Social Services have partnered on this one event, we demonstrate our approach to well-being as one city, one team. Ottawa is an amazing city to live in, and we pride ourselves in our work in making our city a place where everyone feels safe and comfortable to be their true selves. Members of the 2SLGBTQQIA plus community still face with many challenges, including stigma and discrimination. Being part of the 2SLGBTQQIA plus community is only one facet of someone's identity. They may also be from a racialized community or living with physical or mental, mental disabilities. Not only must we address negative attitudes, stereotypes and biases, but we must take a systemic approach and apply an anti-racism and anti-oppression strategy. It is our role as individuals and organizations to work alongside the community with them and for them to make our community safe, diverse and inclusive. A city we can continue to be proud of. Happy Pride everyone. Joyeuse Fierté. Merci, uh, Councillor uh, Egwai. We have a growing and vibrant, diverse community in Ottawa. And thanks to the amazing efforts of generations before us, it is becoming easier, at least in the Ottawa region, for people to openly live their true identity and sexual orientation. Even though our society has come a long way, though, there are some challenges and we need to continue to gather as a community and remind people of the existence of the 2SLGBTQQIA plus community and the need for equality, respect, and unity. Pride activities are about diversity and inclusion, and so they are for everyone. I invite you all to join the many capital pride activities happening this week. A complete list of these activities are available at capitalpride.ca. Les activités de la fierté sont pour tout le monde. Je vous invite donc à participer aux différentes activités de cette semaine et pour une liste complète, veuillez visiter le site français dans la fierté dans la capitale à capitalpride.ca. For city employees, please join us this Thursday for a panel discussion on gender diversity and inclusivity, what we need to know, brought to you by the Gender and Race Equity Inclusion and Diversity Branch and for a learning workshop on designing gender inclusive uh, cities, also done in collaboration with the Rainbows Network. Check the latest email from our city manager, Steve Kanalakis, dated August 19th, or the recent In The Loop article for more details on how to register. Pour les employés de la ville, veuillez vous joindre à nous ce jeudi pour une discussion sur la diversité et d'inclusion des genres ce que nous devons savoir et un atelier de sensibilisation sur l'aménagement de vie soucieuse de l'inclusion des genres. Consultez le courriel du directeur général Steve Kanalakis daté au, du 19 août dernier pour plus de détails sur les modalités d'inscription. And now, I would like to invite Dr. Brent Malotny, Deputy Medical Officer of Health, and Lila Gibbons, Associate General Manager and Community Social Services to raise the pride flag. Thank you once again for joining us this morning. Merci encore. Miigwech et bonne fierté. Happy Pride, everyone. <laughs>